I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning SpeedScreen. I'm here today to uh, talk about the subject of how to make a screen mix. Now we're, we're often asked how are you mixing it, what goes in, what should we do? Uh, well there are many types of screen on the market today and it would take a, a long time to run through every single one. Uh, the exact mic proportions, uh, etc. So what I'll do is I'm going to concentrate on the UK's single most largest selling screed and that would be a 1 to 4 fiber screed as, as defined by the British standard used for an eternity. Uh, so what can you actually mix it in? I think that's the question first. You've got to have the right uh, equipment so just to start with the things that you can't mix it in, you can't mix it by hand. So the British Standard doesn't recommend that you're mixing it with a shovel on uh, a, a piece of board and you're just turning it over. Uh, that's not going to give you a sufficient mix. It's not going to give you good distribution uh, of the uh, materials, the fibres, the water, etc. It's not really going to work for you. Uh, a forced action, uh, sorry, uh, a free fall mixer again is not going to be a solution for you because that, with it being a semi dry mix, it ends up balling and you're not getting the, the, the product mixed correctly because you've got lots of balls in there. So, what you actually need is a forced action mixer, so a paddle mixer. So, this is going to be a forced action mixer, and I don't mean a sort of two handed uh, whisk that you're going to uh, mix it up with. So really it wants to be a, uh, a paddle mixer and you can get the electric slash diesel standalone versions uh, or you could use a purpose built screen pump. So it mixes in the vessel uh, and then when it's mixed it then pumps it into place where the screen is then laid. So if we start with the mix ratio so the mix ratio is one part cement to four parts sand, and that's by weight. So it's based on weight. So first of all, we start by adding half of the sand into the forced action mixer. So the sand should conform to the correct grading as defined by the British standards. So we should be using screening sand. We don't want to use uh, uh, sand that's got high lignite or uh, other contaminants that are in there that may affect uh, may affect the the performance, such as silt, that will reduce the the, the strength of the of the product. So once we've once we've got that in, we then look at putting the uh, ratio of cement in. So you're looking at the ratio and weight based on the mix that you're actually uh, working out. So you need to uh, make sure that it's, it's going to be uh, correct. So if, for example, you was putting in one bag, a 25 kg bag of cement, therefore you're going to need 100 kgs of sand to give you that one to four ratio. So you put your cement in and then you uh, would look at the water addition. So you need to uh, check the moisture of the sand. Uh, so in the winter it's probably the sand's quite moist, high, high moisture content. In the summer it's probably dry unless it's just uh, come directly from the, the washing plant and it's, you know, it's containing water there. So you need to take uh, a view as to how much water is, is already in the sand and then the additional water that you're going to add is, is, is obviously going to take that into account. What you don't want to do is not put sufficient water in and you end up with difficulties in placement and also the, the cement doesn't get hydrated because of lack, of lack of moisture. You would then also look at adding uh, polypropylene fibres, so that's PP fibres. The PP fibres help to minimise shrinkage cracking. So anything with water in, as it dries, it's, it's going to shrink. So a typical dosage of that would be 900 grams of fibre per cubic metre of, of, of screed. So the, the, the fibres are actually added to the water. And so they're, they're well mixed and then the water and the fibres will be added 
to uh, t together. So then if you have any uh, admixtures that uh, are going in there, so it could be a plasticizer, uh, it could be something to make the screed uh, gain strength quicker, then that's something you would add at, at this stage as well if there are any additives to, uh, to go into the mix to change how the, the actual screed performs. After this, is, uh, this has gone in, you would then add the balance of the sand. So the balance of the sand goes on top of the mix and then the mixing actually starts. So the mix needs to be thorough. It needs to be, you know, the, the sand, the water, the fibres, etc. need to be uh, well distributed. So you don't want any soft spots with pockets of sand, uh, etc. Once that's completed, then the screed is, is good to go. So then you're able to pump it in place or to place it into the wheelbarrow and take it uh, directly to where it's, where it's needed. So I, I hope that's been of help. If you have any further questions, just please get in touch and we'd be happy to answer them. Thank you.